Hey everybody, welcome back to Ghostwood, my personal hell here in West of Loathing. Thank you very much for uh, joining me again. I was looking at my map here wondering where the professor is and uh, noticed this little place down here called the professor's house. Perhaps that's where he'll be. Let's go discover together. You hear a dry cough behind you and turn to see a skeleton dressed in a moldering old tuxedo and silk top hat shuffling toward you, gesturing angrily with his walking stick. The funeral lily pinned to his lapel is gilded, as are all of his teeth. Guess he was trying to take it with him. Something I can help you with, sir? The skeleton hisses and chatters his teeth at you, gesturing vaguely with his cane. Since you don't speak skeleton, nobody can because they can't speak, you have to figure out his complaint from context and body language. Seems to be something along the lines of, I'm rich and dead, how come all these poor people get to be alive? Where's the justice in that? You nod and make sympathetic noises in the right places, and eventually he runs out of steam. He throws his lily on the ground with a ba-like cough, and shuffles away. Nice. That's easy enough. This is a big, long journey here from Ghostwood, isn't it? We gotta head back to Dirtwater soon, too, and forge this. Yes! Hot coffee! That's fun. Hey, Professor! Finally got this shit for- oh, hold on, I need to flush your toilet. Oh, I've already done that, okay. Glad we, uh, had our priorities straight the first time we got here. Hey, pal. Good to see you again! Have you got those five piles of scrap yet? Got them right here! Great! Let me just- Mmm, hmm, hmm, yep. Okay, this should do the trick. Let me just get this running and then you'll be able to grab a keystone from it. Oh, nice! We'll take another five scrap for each one you need. Are you familiar with the lost Dutch oven mine? Grim place, but that's where I found the chassis for that fabricator wedged behind an unusual pile of locks. Seems like a good place to start hunting. Nice. Okay. Leave the professor alone. I need to go back to the lost Dutch oven mine. Oh. He built this just now. Right? Requires five El Vibrato scrap to build a key, which I definitely want to do. So let's go to the, uh... Lost Dutch oven mine, then. Sounds good to me. Found some weird stuff behind a rock. Blossom gin for me. Oh! Mind splaining. Two unrefined meat nuggets and five experience. All right. Fantastic. Let's see here. Have I not gotten all the stuff in this place? This cart's empty. Yes, yes, yes. Can't recall exactly what I've done in here. Although, clearly haven't been back since I got foraging, so... It's been a minute, at least. Oh, there's this guy. Totally out of it. Oh, I can just put the Velvet Brado head hem- uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You put the headband on him, and he blinks rapidly, shaking his head. Oh my goodness, where am- oh, I'm still in the mine! Uninjured and hungry, but not starving, so I can't have been here very long, perhaps a day. Good, good. Oh, I must have you to thank, friend. But howdy, feeling better? I should say so. Thank you for outfitting me with this remarkable device. Don't mention it. What's your name? Murray. Murray Morris. Excavator of the unknown and purveyor of mysteries. Fancy. What brings you to this mine? Why excavating the unknown for mysteries to purvey, of course. Or at least attempting to. I must admit that until you put this device on me, I was quite overcome. Overcome? Quite. I'm oversensitive to psychic em emanations, you see. Always have been. As it happens, this curious little hole is absolutely overflowing with them. And they're none too friendly, I can tell you that for certain. It was risky business, my coming down here, but I took the gamble and lost. It's a miraculous thing that you happened by when you did, my friend. We should both get out of here as soon as possible. I've been staying in a town called Dirtwater to the south. You could probably do some good business purveying mysteries there. A capital idea! Then I shall see you there! He leaves with a wave. Oh, now we gotta dig deeper into here by ourselves, though, don't we? We will go back to Dirtwater, as was our intention a little while ago, I suppose. Let's go deeper. Climb down. There's gotta be something else we can start to do here, right? Heart is pounding. Oh, we've been here, right? Yeah. You gotta get out of this pit. There's something going on. But I wanna be here. I wanna investigate, man. I gotta know. Alright. Back to Dirtwater, I guess. We need more El Vibrato scraps to make a keystone and then eventually get back into soup stock load. Figure out what's going on with that place. But let's go, uh, investigate- Oh, Cactus Bill! I still haven't found a Cactus Lady for Cactus Bill, man! How have I forgotten that this whole time? I could also maybe go play some poker. I haven't done that in a while. I wonder if they have a darts back yet, either. Oh, this guy! 
His eyes light up. Well, one of them does. The other's kind of stuck in a perpetual squint. Does this belong to you? Takes the helmet from you. Takes a moment for him to find his voice. It does. Long time ago. I don't suppose there was anything else where you found that? You mean this? That's the stuff. Could I? Give it to him. Cracks the bottle open and drinks deeply. After a few moments, his demeanor changes entirely. He looks like a man 20 years younger. Would you like to hear a story? Ellsbury tells you a tale about a dreamlike metropolis where miniature priests perform plays for imaginary cats. Oh. He nods. If you want to express your gratitude in a more tangible way, you know the trick. He goes back to listening to the piano. Give him more, uh, yeah, here you go. Cracks the bottle open and drinks deeply, yes. Tells you a tale of a man who gets kidnapped and taken to a long-forgotten frigid plateau inhabited by feral scholars. This is probably like movie references that are being completely lost on me. Here, have some more, uh... Of whatever the hell we're giving you. Strange realm where ghostly trees live in harmony with tiny spirits. This is just free experience, isn't it? As long as I got whatever the hell he's getting. What is it, what he's asking for. Hidden staircase leading to a dreamlike windswept metropolis inhabited by miniature cats. It's kind of similar to the other one, isn't it? Now let's not listen to this this story now. Doesn't hear you begins telling a story anyway. Tells you a tale about another worldly underwater jungle where ghostly ghosts wage an eternal war against immortal skeletons. Nice. Am I just giving him all my alcohol? I'm getting close to that fifth level safe, safe cracking. No more medicine for you, sorry buddy. Looking back at the piano. Alright, well I'm glad we did that. I could check into this girl again as well. Maybe, uh... You don't need any help from us? You don't got anything you got going on? Alright. Well, let's go check out the, uh... The new business in town, shall we? Or the new business is, I suppose, right? Yeah, we got Grady's Fine Leather Goods, Liquid Bread Brewing Company, and Murray's Curiosity and Bean. And two more lots available, which could have been occupied by a bakery, I would assume, if I had done things correctly. Wow! Well, hello again! Thank you for telling me about this town, my friend. It's a marvelous location. That's two good turns you've done me. Speaking of which, here's your curious headband back. Fortune willing, I won't be needing it again. Not more gambles like that for me. Why is it so dark in here? Atmosphere, my friend. I sell mysteries, things which cannot be properly experienced in the cold light of day. Why not? Well, it wouldn't be any fun. Uh, where's all your merchandise? In the lock case behind me. These are things that must be kept from prying eyes and unprepared minds. And thieving hands? Well, that goes without saying. Let's see what you got. Golden scarab pin. Plus five mysticality. All-purpose beans can serve any purpose. That's actually kind of a good thing to have. Magician's pants. More non-combat random encounters. Oh, that's cool. Glass sphere. Neat. I don't think we really need anything else from this guy. I want to buy this. Seems like it's important, but it's also fairly expensive. Maybe I need it for something, though. Alright, that was fun. What you got going on? Oh, hey, it's you! Thanks for telling me about this place instead of arresting me or shooting me in the head and then arresting me. I guess word's been getting around. Well, you sure did help me out. I really appreciate the opportunity and things are going pretty well. Not a single yeast monster yet. Fella moved in next door selling weird old antiques. Sold me a parchment scroll with a beer recipe on it and promised it wasn't cursed. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Mysticality by five and spell damage by nine for the rest of the day. That is a uh, hell of a drink right there, but I still don't need it. Oh, I do have this sack of meat nuggets I guess I should just go ahead and sell. There you go. I probably got a whole bunch of shit too. Maybe I should learn Ray's Skeletal Thrall. That's been hanging around for a while, I think. Probably don't need a second hammer either. There we go. Yeah, let's go ahead and use that book. Raise Skeletal Thrall. Wherever the hell that ended up. Uh, sort of by new. This will probably do it. Where are you, book? Where's the book? Maybe it'd be better off sorting by this or something. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. There it is. There you are. Read it. Book is full of magic spells which don't make any sense to you until you get to the next to last chapter and realize that they're not spells for you to cast, but spells for a skeleton to cast. One of the appendices mentions in passing how to summon a skeleton. Examine skull chips in your inventory to enchant them. I see. Withered muscles. Wow! Your single-minded obsession with death magic has led you to really neglecting your physical form. 
Holy shit, okay. I suppose that's fair. Minus 25 melee damage, but, uh... I'm hoping that I now have... Well, okay, hold on. I gotta check out teeth. Skeleton teeth. And the bones in my inventory as well, which I can ensorcel, by the way. You carve some writing glyphs onto the bones with your pen knife and hiss black words into them. I should probably do that a bunch. Let's do like 10 of those. Oh, wait. You've got too many ensorcelled bones already. You're starting to lose track of them all and the damn souls inside. All right, then. So we can't do that more than three times. Where's the teeth? Do we have teeth? Maybe I should sort by uh, picture again. Skull chips. You inscribe the skull chips with secret letters in the correct order. They will spell the name of the wizard whose soul will be torn out of hell to serve your desires. How noble of me. All right. What about this thing? Can I make... Can I ensorcel the coccyx with a hole in it? I wish. Cool. Well, that's fun. Neat new spell. All right. Now. Still really need these El Vibrato scraps. So, I kind of want to, like... Go back to the professor's house. See if maybe he'll tell me where to get some. Oh, hey. That's convenient. Thanks. Maybe I just need to, like, wander around nearby his house. One scrap off of that. Well, it's a little less than I was hoping for. I think I might literally need to wander around his house in order to gather the scrap. Let's see if he tells me anything. No, he does not. I need to fabricate a key, man. That's exactly what I want to do. So, I think I'm gonna try this. I'm just gonna try this for a little bit. Oh, it's Wandering Sally again. Hey! Do you have El Vibrato scrap by chance? That would be pretty damn convenient, but I kind of doubt it. Yeah, I don't think there's much else I want to do with you. Okay. Wander again. We should wander particularly by the professor's house. Oh! A destroyed campsite off in the distance. Thanks. That sounds like fun. Search it. Most of the contents are trash from being stomped on. You do find a dented can of potted meat, though. You also notice that the knapsack... Knapsack has a knife sheath strapped to the side, but you don't see the knife anywhere. All right, then. Whole herd of cows is trampled over this place. Used to be a person. Looks like some wolves have been at this feller. Well, maybe it was cows who killed him, but they don't usually chew on the bones. What's this weird white grease around the chew marks? I don't know, and I ain't sure I want to know. Oh, no, hang on. I am sure I don't want to know. Follow the tracks. Yeah, absolutely. After which they stop suddenly after a hundred yards. They don't seem to be anything of interest nearby, huh? Weird. Well, all right, then. Let's go back to the old uh, professor's house and then keep wandering, I suppose. Sounds like a plan. Open grave here. Oh, yeah. Jump in and see what they find. Wow, nice. Two gold teeth. And I can sell that for a whole bunch of money, too. And I got skull chips to ensorcel. Wonderful. Back to wandering for a bit. Really want to try to find more scraps. There's a skull just sort of rolling down the road at you. Bye. That was fun. More loose teeth. Yeah, it's just gonna bring us right back there. Okay, one more try, and then maybe we'll go somewhere else. A box cannon with a pyro bow. All right, we're just finding all kinds of silly nonsense now. That's not gonna help. Only thousands left to go. All right, let's see here. What do I need to do? I need to find more scrap, man, but I don't know if there's really, like, a way to just reliably find some. There's nothing else I can do over here either, right? Ah, oh, I need Forge in 3 again. Which I was thinking about getting, but I'm still working on that, uh, safe crack in 5. 1642, so close. So close. I still am not sure if I can actually, uh, get back on the train and crack that safe. I may not have anything else I can do here until I, uh... Well, yeah, I just gotta work on getting that keystone, I guess. I'll tell you what. Let's go check out Wasco's Comedy Shack, because it really looks like there's a lot more things up here. Your transponder beeps! Nice! You spurt gorse in the direction west and encounter a large hexagonal monolith of Elvarado material. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was desperately hoping this would happen. Off to the curious flat plane. Oh, boy. Hey, uh, here's another mine. I didn't want to go there, but I think we gotta. 
The deepest delve mine. Oh my goodness. Reminds me to just check out the Lost Dutch Oven Mine for more traces of Elvibrado technology. So maybe there is actually something else going on over there. Not animated for climbing, okay. <laughs> Missing about 70% of its rungs. Climb down with 30 moxie. Wow. Elvibrado scraps, yes. And a rod. Some Hula Crosom Zevacroni. And more punch cards, good. This is wonderful. Great start. One of the largest hexagons you've ever seen, absolutely. What do you got going on? Monolith is dark, I got another portal here. Whoa. Piece here that's very obviously broken, I can replace it. Lazak Kuskro. There you go. Now it's working. Alright then. Pabu Stakuzom, select secondary Stakuzom. Hmm. Weather Butapu Stakuzom. Weather Butapu Chubo Kuskuro. Choose everything. I don't know. Pabu Stakuzom, select secondary Stakuzom. Nakbu Stakuzom. Nakbu Fucha Fusta Bega. Nakbu Stazak. You press the button and a huge vi- Oh my god, a huge pile of Elvibrado scrap materializes behind you with a thud. Score! Nice! Now do that. And that. And that. And that. And that. Oh. Um. Planetary. Current Hosum Laza Gabachano Planetary Lachaholka Maintenance. Hold on. Let's grab this first. 42! Wow! Okay, that's wonderful. That is way more than I expected to get. Uh, let's see. I could go to the deepest delve mine as well. Let's go back to the professor's house first. Or, alternatively, go back to the curious abandoned well. Oh, no, 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 not the well. Where's the, uh... You encounter a goblin shelf out harvesting produce, by which I mean knocking lumps off a cactus. Are you a human? To keep you away from these lumps that are mine, or maybe I'm cooking you instead! Well, you goblins don't people to eating, do you? No, gross! I did sing, I just scare you away. Did you scared? Jeez, a little, yeah. Nice! What's cooking? Lumps! Okay then. Instead of bashing a cactus apart, have you considered cutting it up with a knife? What? To considering cactus with knife to cutting? Oh, yes! Another chef man suggesting this, but Jack sure out of wrong. Here, you can have in his pants. They don't goblin legs fitting. Nice. Thanks, buddy. I love that we have to walk all the way down here to actually get up there. This is not where I want to be, though, right? Can I get the punch cards here? Or was that somewhere else? No, that was here. That's right. Source and pipeline. Nice. Put in another one. Cannon and bracelet. Good. Well, all right then, that's good information. And now we go back to the professor's house and get ourselves a keystone. Which is very exciting. Nearby cloud of dust turns out to be a bandit on a horse, riding hell for leather for unknown reasons. What's up, where's the fire? Get bent or get lost! You should be careful, there's a lot of geomiday activity around here. I don't know what that means. What? The rest of her sentence is cut off as her horse trips over a gopher hole and goes down into a snarl of flailing limbs and dust. You catch her meat pouch out of the air as miscellaneous loose possessions fly out of the tumbling cloud. <laughs> okay. I'll take it. Let's go make a keystone, baby. Here, I found all the scraps. You don't, you don't really care, though, do you? Got an El Vibrato keystone. All right. Let's just use the one for now. I don't know if I need a second one. Headed back over to soup stock load. Which I always misplace. And get this done. Oh, it's Wandering Sally again. You know what? I I can't say no to you, honestly. But there's no reason for me to be here. Okay. See you later. Hey, half a human, hey! Not a half a human. Hello, a human. Looking for tuna! Seeing it? Tuna? This being the desert, no tuna here for miles. What are you saying? Tuna is local delicacy. You mean a fish swimming thing? Crazy human! A tuna isn't swimming, this is desert! Where are you swimming? Well, yeah, that's my point. Tuna is round and green with red knobs! Pokey spines have him! 
Oh, like some kind of cactus, like a prickly pear or something? Yes, duh! Uh, well, not seeing any tuna, but giving me a big fork and not helping you look. Okay. Anyway, I'm having spares. The goblin gives you a tuna fork, and the two of you hunt around for a while until you find a stand of prickly pears, aka tunas. Turns out the fork is necessary because tuna pricklers are tiny, barbed, and absolute bastards. Absolute bastards. Sweet. All right, in we go. Been a long time coming, this. Let's go, uh... Find out a little bit more about, about the El, El Vibrato, ideally. I'm looking to get some more punch cards from this, if I'm lucky. But maybe it'll just be, like, 10,000 meat. And then I'll be extremely disappointed. If I get really rich off of this, I'm gonna be really disappointed, which is a weird feeling. Alright, open it up. Three El Vibrato fluid. Pentagonal El Vibrato device contains some sort of sloshy fluid. Insert the fluid. Three buttons appear. Kroku's sustenance? Yeah. A feature this brown cube drops into the aperture. El Verbato food cube. Kushuno Kroku's Tasta pipeline Kuskro insert Kroku's Tasta. El Verbato food cube is pretty good, okay. Reassured you is sustenance. I see. Let's do, uh... The last one. Tasta stock us. Oh, it's more fluid. Oh, it just returns it. It just ejects the pentagon he put back in. Okay, I see. So let's just do this. El Verbato rum. Increases your item and meat drop bonuses by 30% for the rest of the day. Okay. Now the last one. Seltzer. Huh. So just usable items then, huh? And if we get more fluid, we can get more of them. Which I suppose we could probably get by using this to get more keystones, but maybe we can't interact with that thing anymore. Weird. Alright then. Ah, oh, we're not going there. Why did I do that? That was a mistake. Although, maybe they have something we can buy. Nope. Alright. No big deal. Professor, do you make anything of this? Or do we need to just go into the deepest delve mine and ask our own questions and find our own answers? Yep, that's the case. Alright. Can do. All the way across... What is this place called? Something wrong, Pete? You keep looking over your shoulder like you think we're being followed. Yeah, well, I just... Trying to stay out of this neck of the woods. Some bad mojo went down out this way a time ago and did my head in good. What happened? Did you murder someone? Yeah, nothing like that. I just... Spent a lot of time with a bad voice whispering in my head. Whispering things a fella out not here if he wants to treat, live a regular life. These apostrophes are killing me. And that voice weren't mine. And after a time, I couldn't tell that no more. Being out here, seeing things for that time, makes me wonder a little if my voice was maybe my voice at all. Ah, oh, jeez, Pete, don't worry, okay? Nothing's gonna happen to you while I'm around. Well, now, boss, I do appreciate the sentiment, at least. Stronger Pete again. Nice. Coal Smasher 5000, look at that. Looks like this is the place. How you holding up, Pete? Uh, not, not great. This is something we gotta do, this is important. It's not super clear to me what this even is. Come on, let's get in there before I change my mind. I'm right behind you. All right. Can't do anything with this, huh? Weird shaft thing goes down further than you can see. Oh, boy. Whoa, hello. Secret entrance. Well, hold on a second. Let's go back up and see what the front door is all about. There's also a little knapsack in there, but... I'm very curious. Shaft has collapsed, but there's a rope leading down through the rubble. Okay. Is it all just the same thing? Floor to ceiling shaft of the coal smasher. Huh. Does this lead over to the ladder? An impassable cave in. Don't even try. There's a lot of stuff wrong with it. Luckily, I can hit the problems. You hit the elevator in all the right places and start. Starts up like it's surprised. That's brilliant. So maybe we actually can't fix that elevator unless I have percussive maintenance. Which I don't even remember what I got that from. I want to look at that perk again. You've learned how to hit machines in just the right place to fix pretty much whatever's wrong with them. All it had was a gas cap. You found this in the deepest delve mine. All right. And a delicate bean iron nugget. 
cool. Magnetic as well as magical. And this, this is the impassable cave-in from the other side. All right, so we're just getting some goodies from here. I see, and then the gas cap might end up being necessary. Let's go ahead and get back into the deepest delve, shall we? Climb down. There's a lever inside! How modern! Let's go to level two. Sounds fun. Just a bunch of worthless leftovers, alright. Oh, there's actually people here. These cultists are really going to town with the whispering and tracing of spirals in the air and generally really being weird, creepy cult weirdos. Seem too preoccupied with their spooky nonsense to notice you. Unfortunately, they're blocking your path. Huh. So perhaps a different way we can go. I wouldn't mind too much uh, beating the snot out of a bunch of cultists, but... If we have an alternative, I'll take it. Nasty trash and hundreds of empty sarsaparilla bottles. All right. All right, then. Have it your way. I will do what I must to push forward. Nice bear cupboard. Ha 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 ha. Bear pun. Get that golem up. They got a decent amount of health, so I should probably be a little concerned about this. Let's go ahead and do our dark howdy, shall we? And then we get 41 hot damage or 17 spooky to all enemies. I can also boost my stats by 9, which is pretty considerable. Ah, uh, let's see. Cultist of Roberto. Let's take out the weakest one first if I can. These guys are fairly strong. Let's see. I got five action points, so I could actually boost my mysticality, use a smelling salt, and then hit him with the uh, rain of teeth. 36 spooky damage to all enemies. These two are about the same, it seems. I'd like to level up one of the two. Surrender, giving up is the same as losing. I'm not gonna surrender, come on now. Oh, I could summon an ensorcelled skeleton buddy. That's probably not a bad idea either. Maybe we summon like a swarm of them, in fact. Skeletal Spell Slinger? That sounds like fun. Yeah, let's go ahead and get another one. Ooh, we got a full squad now. This feels great. I'm gonna get this bean wall up. Oh, baby. I don't know what that or what good that's gonna do me back there, but... Fuck it. Let's keep it. They deal one hit point of damage. Oh, boy. They might be, uh... They might not be too helpful for this, but... Oh, I can use his skills. Neat. Approximately 10 spooky damage to all enemies. Do it. Was I just choosing the... Who was I choosing for? Was that the Spell Slinger? It must have been. Cultist of Roberto. Uh, let's see. I do a bunch of damage still with my Lava Fava, of course. Apparently, I can summon another Bean Wall. Which is interesting. Okay. Yeah, why not? And then we'll just shoot everybody. Fun. Oh, these guys are not strong at all. All right, let's do the spooky attack. One more down. Minus three to all stats is kind of a bummer. They're not dealing too much damage, though. I am choosing the the actions of my spell slinger. That is pretty neat. Okay, and now we just shoot them. I don't think I'm going to be dying here. I'm pretty sure I'm in decent enough shape. Oh, there goes my golem. Losing the stats still. Whiffing that attack, I guess. That's what's been happening over and over again. He's nearly gone. Pete ought to be able to take him out. Yeah, there we go. Then we're not too concerned anymore. Oh, that's a lot of spooky damage still. Still zero spooky on that one. Still whiffing the attack as well. These guys are just outclassed in this area, I guess. He is really tough, man. Pete's dealing the majority of our damage now. Hopefully he's not going to die. Alright, keep it going. Yeah, that lantern hit for 41. This is keeping us in it. The skeleton is still alive somehow, too. Bash him up! There we go. It's done. 212 Sassarparililar. Never sure how to spell this and still aren't. Sassaparilala. Moxie by three for the rest of the day. Hooray. That was fun. The fuck is this? Big cross made of El Vibrato stuff. Its precise lines and corners stand in marked contrast to the altar, which makes your eyes spin involuntarily when you look at it. El Vibrato cross. Nice. That was probably worthwhile, I'd assume. Okay. Fun. Let's leave. Let's leave.
Oh wait, we can go to level three, that's right. A little bit more going on here than I remembered. Yay, toilet flushing! Remarkably clean toilet for being underground. Not to mention the fact that they've got plumbing functional down here in this mine, I suppose. That's impressive. Oh, look at this. I bet this takes out those enemies down there. Really heavy. Push it. Oh, never mind. I guess that's what this does. A child's bracelet. Way too small, even if it's also way too colorful for you to wear in public. This is ready to be grabbed upstairs, I suppose, so that's kind of cool. Let's go, uh, kill these guys. Bunch of cultists here whispering to themselves, six of them to be exact. They don't seem to have noticed you, but pushing through will definitely change that. Let's do it. Summon my golem again, of course. And, uh, I think I will indeed continue to use the dark howdy. Hopefully use my safe crack and experience soon and be able to upgrade that. Uh, let's see. I think, yeah, use the old bean. Dark howdy. And, uh, let's have Pete focus on one dude to start off with. Let's get one of the weaker guys up front. Sounds good. Full cycle of stuns. And I think I am going to have to try to summon some guys again, if not just to kind of help us out as meat shields. Although they're not really the best meat shields in the world, I suppose, are they? Uh, poison your target by five, five, five poison, five units of poison. Uh, anything else I want to do down here? I can shoot these guys, but I don't think I necessarily need to do that. I think I'm going to hit them with the, uh, smelling salts into either Rain of Teeth or Great Northern Blizzard. Let's do Great Northern Blizzard. Hit him with the cold strike. And, uh, I like the AoE again. Make everybody a little weaker here. Minus three to all stats. Oh, goodness. They do some big damage. And they got empowerment going on for the whole squad as well. And this guy is whiffing on everything. So, yeah, they're really not helping us out that much at all. Okay. Well, back to my normal attacks now, which are obviously not looking all that great. I've only got five dynamite left over now, too. So, this is just not nearly as good of a situation as it used to be. Son of a bitch. I am feeling considerably weaker than I used to. Oh, boy. Should I just toss some more dynamite and then maybe buy some later? These things are not dealing very much damage at all. Shit. Well, this sucks. I guess I'm just gonna go for the stench damage and try to kill this guy. And these two skeletons are not helping at all. Can't do that again. One at a time, I guess. Is he- he's sucking stats out of me. That's why I'm so weak. He's because he keeps doing that. Fuck. Oh, yeah, they are just draining my life force. That's no good. Kind of spreading out the damage a little bit more here, too. Okay, let's just make sure... Oh! I was gonna say, if that deals 38, that would suck. The old Darkest Dungeon standard, leaving them with one. I hate this sucking the stats away from me stuff. That sucks. Okay, still can't kill him with this attack. I think I'm gonna toss... Let's do one of these bullets, or no, let's just do a dynamite to make sure he dies, and then... Hit this guy with a stench shot. I think we're in a good spot now. Even though I'm having all of my effectiveness wretched away from me. Oh, there goes Pete. Oh boy, that's no good. I should still be okay, though. Let's toss, like, one more bullet out after this dude. That's what's happening. They're making these bullets way more ineffective because I am losing my moxie. I get it. I get it. Bean Golem's just gonna have to carry me through the remainder of this one. There we go. 318 experience, a tentacled badge, Saris Barilla, and a stock certificate. Certificate entitling the bearer to 42 shares of Western Pistol Limited, a co company based in Boston. Neat. Shaft really got shafted by a cave-in. Bunch more spirals. Looking at this makes my stomach spin. The central spiral has a nauseating optical illusion effect that makes it look like it's spinning even though it isn't. You feel as if you get too close, you might fall right into it. I can't do anything with this, I suppose. Can I push this big coal brick now into this massive cave-in? That would be pretty sweet. I guess not. I just gotta grab that thing. Okay. Let's go to the last level. Might be eight cultists I have to kill this time, but I don't know if I'm actually prepared to do that. They're a little intimidating now. Over to the left we got- oh shit! 
The keystone snaps into place and the lid vanishes. I got some scraps, a complicated punch card, El Vibrato fluid, and an El Vibrato grenade. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Gotta go back and uh, figure out what's going on with that punch card for sure. It's a complicated one. There's a whole crowd of cultists here muttering and doing creepy Tai Chi. Well, let's give it a shot. Now, there are eight. Indeed, as I suspected, there are eight. So, I could toss that El Vibrato grenade. I might use quite a few of my uh, extra goodies this time around. I think I'm going to go for the full mysticality boost again. Stun them one more time. And then hit them with a great northern blizzard. Let's do it. Gotta remember I'm sacrificing a lot of my strength by doing that as well. Okay, uh, do the spooky damage again, or should I try to kill one of these guys in the back? That sort of seems like a smart idea. Yeah, let's do that. Then maybe I'll hit him with a lava fava back here. See what the bean golem does. Let him focus on that. Okay. Definitely take this. I think I'm actually going to use a bunch of these things as well before they are able to reduce my effectiveness. So let's do it. Let's kill this guy with the incendiary bullets. That ought to do it. Uh, and then maybe I'll do an AoE. Oh well, yeah, I am going to do an AoE attack. That's right. So I should leave him with like 40 if I can. How much does it do? 47. That was a waste of a couple of bullets, I just remember, or I just realized. Okay, so let's see. If I can leave him with 47, he's poisoned. I don't know if that deals 10 poison damage or if that's going to poison him for 10 turns. Maybe that's enough. Let's leave that on him for now. Let's fire two at this guy. Uh, yeah. Actually, I want to kill the guys in the back for sure. Oh, right. I f oh, fuck. I totally forgot that I was going to hit the guys in front. Damn it. That's why I was doing it this way. Okay. That's why. So, maybe one of each of these will take care of these frontliners. And then maybe now I can be safe in doing the, bl in the blizzard. 53 cold damage to all enemies. Uh, I say we go ahead and do it now. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. And that's right. Pete has a... Uh, Spooky attack left over as well. I kind of want to try to kill this guy. I'd like to boost my stats as well, but eh, let's just do this. Oh, the stat removal. He's not quite gone. I think that did deal 13. Yeah, it's 13 damage over time. That's crazy. Oh, my bean golem's dead. Oh, God. That's scary. I really want to try to go for another blizzard and use like four smelling salts, but that's pretty risky I'd say let's see 9 to 13 stench damage okay so that's gonna kill him I think and then Pete can get back there and get this guy oh that's good that whiffed okay lost some more stats again oh god I hate that I hate that a lot this guy should die let's start to uh Start working on this top row guy so that I can get to the one in the back, I suppose. And then Pete again. I think I don't need him to hit this dude, so let's go. Let's do the spook spooky attack while it's still got several targets to be fairly effective. I'm so glad they're whiffing with those. Pete is still vulnerable, though. There he goes. Damn it. Okay. I might just have to use a shitload of items here. I want to toss the grenade. 30 damage to all enemies. Oh, man, I really want to do that. Target gets wet. Don't need to heal myself, obviously. What do I want to do, man? Should I just... set the target on fire with a sulfur match? Is that my best play here? Snake Spleen, I can use to set the target on fire. Fuck it, let's just use a bunch of my consumables here. Much of the stuff that I, uh... Target is disabled for two rounds. That's pretty awesome, too. Do I want to do that? Maybe I should hang on to that one. That one seems pretty valuable. Poison them? Why not? Dump all this shit out on everybody. Spread all the damage around. Let's, uh... 
Well, my moxie is pretty low right now, so these are fairly ineffective, I guess. Should I just toss a few dynamites? Could toss two here. He's already poisoned, though. Maybe I'd toss that. Shoot him. Oh, I don't know about this. That's not too much damage. I also have regen. He's gonna bleed. Oh god, I have lost all my stats. I have lost all my stats. I need some AP to be able to actually do anything. I think I want to take some smelling salts and hit him with the lava fava. Let's do it. Let's do it. Cast the spell. This one's nearly dead. He is gone now. Okay, only two more left. They keep hitting me with those stat losses, though, so it's going to keep dra draining me down until I'm wholly ineffective. Oh, God, man. Now my bullets don't even do anything. Fuck it. I think I just use these. I think we use one more smelling salt. Let myself or let me kill this guy. There we are, and then just take him out with the eventual shots from the stench damage. He's still poisoned. I don't know how long that lasts. I'm willing to find out. Because I'm pretty damn sure he's not gonna kill me. Seems like it's gonna last for a while, but I'm getting hit a lot now. Fuck it. There we go. You managed to defeat all eight of the cultists in a fair fight unless you cheated somehow. Did you cheat? Another stock certificate. I must be rich now. 424 experience. I finally get to do this. Safe cracking. Anything. And foraging. Look at me go. Can forage really good fancy stuff from cacti. Now I gotta work on these. Improve the base level damage from the Great Northern Blizzard, I think. Alright, let's go check out what I got. This pile of rocks is really seriously mortared together. Destroy it with 50 muscle. 48. Oh. Oh my god, I'm so close. Damn it. Are you kidding me? Oh, are you kidding me here? I need 80 experience. Where am I getting 80 experience? No. Can I get more muscle from something? I've already got my max on everything. I can't believe I'm two away. I've got to have something I can change out to get more muscle, right? Let's see, hold on. It's plus three mysticality. Ring of smart thinking. There it is. There's the switch. Beautiful. Probably didn't even need to spend the experience on the thing. Got it. Trapezoidal piece missing from the crossbar. Insert a keystone. Enter the portal. El Vibrato Control Center. What? The shaft goes down further than you can see. The cross-shaped El Vibrato device is growing, going crazy. West Roberto Fusha Fusta blah 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 blah. That's the edge of this room. Do it. Snaps into place of its own accord. Leave the terminal, alright. Can't understand anything it's saying here. I guess that's it. We've done it. Alright, cool. I have hooked up... the machine. And I suppose now everything is functional, right? Right? That's the... It's the safe assumption we can make here, is that it's all working perfectly and that everything is good. And let's go ahead and grab this coal to activate the winch. There's a button labeled SMASH. Press it. The machine works its magic and compresses the massive lump of coal into a much smaller lump of coal. Nice. All you need is a few hundred years and you'll have a great big diamond. Fun. All right. Well, lots of interesting stuff going on right now. Thanks very much for watching this long episode of West of Loathing. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like in the video as well if you did. Appreciate that a lot. A lot of mysteries to solve. I'll see you next time.